Hey guys, it's Joe Bob from Joe Bob's channel. I'm sorry about it being dark, but it is. Oh, let me find my curtain. It is 11:29, so 11:30ish. Just me and my dog. She doesn't like me though. I'm trying to kick her off my bed. Go away. But I wanted to do another discussion topic. And, uh, hmm, I gotta think of one. Okay, let me, like, I've been getting really into psychology, and I figured out that epilepsy is caused by brain damage, which made me think, well, that could come from any kind of brain damage, and Hi, hi, if he knew my friend Ryan, man, this kid, he's like six foot something. Every time he falls, he gets like a concussion from it. So, I do think Ryan is likely for epilepsy. <laughs> but, it's kind of weird if you think about it. How would you be, or what would cause you to have a seizure? And I read up on it and all that, and it said, what causes you to have a seizure is electrical impulses sent to the wrong areas or an overload of electrical impulses. And, you know, it kind of makes sense. Like, if you have too many or electrical impulses sent to the brain, it overloads or something, and you have a seizure. But, I don't know. It's interesting. Well, Ryan suggested to me that I make my segments longer, so I agreed with him. So next psychology topic is happiness. Yeah. Happiness is caused by a, uh, by a chemical released in the brain. I think it was called oxytonin or something like that. I think it had oxy in it, but... Um... It said what causes this chemical to be released is, um, like giving out money or helping out or volunteer work and it makes sense. Yeah. But why do humans have a f need for this chemical? Because, you know, if you see a... I gotta explain this further. Okay. I was watching YouTube one day, and they did this test, and it was really interesting. They did tests and said, what would you do test? So I clicked on it, and it was a test that said, what would you do if a homeless man came into a bar that, and a lady gave him $20 to eat there? And it had different people, and some people helped him out, and others said that he shouldn't be in there because he's homeless and he's probably just going to try and buy beer or something. And then there's one guy, he said, no, he shouldn't be in here, but you shouldn't take his money either. I can get why you wouldn't want someone that smells bad in here, but you can't take his money for it. So the guy gives him back his money. And, like, it was, it was just a test. He wasn't really going to steal his money. And the guy, he ends up... He he buys the guy a sandwich, like a really big sandwich too, and he walks out there and he gives it to him. And I was like, whoa. Man, I'm, re I'm really grateful, thanks. And he's like, yeah. And he goes back in the bar and continues on. And I thought that was kind of cool. Because, I don't know. It just seems like a cool person action type thing. But they did another test, and this one was with a homeless person getting bullied by kids trying to beat them up or something like that. And, you know, all the everybody helped them and everything, but they made it seem like, and it made sense too, they made it seem we don't want to feel bad about not helping them. I go, whoa. 
That's true. Have you ever seen like have you ever seen someone being bullied and you have that feeling and you're like, Oh, I know I should help, but that guy's really big and he's gonna hurt me and oh I wish I could help and Hi oh, yeah, that happens to me all the time. Actually no it doesn't. I'm the one getting screwed with. But yeah. This was discussion topic number two. Yeah. Okay, I got five more minutes. Or four, I guess. I gotta think. One of my friends just gun control. Actually, it's my grandma on my mom's side. She suggested gun control. And you know, I, I understand why they want gun control. It makes sense. They don't want people to have guns. But you know, they they made it illegal to have cocaine. People still got cocaine and drugs and all that, it's not like legalizing it. It's going to make it any harder to get. And, you know, I'm not for gun control, personally. And I'm ho- I really, oh, I really hope this isn't too controversial of a topic. But, it just, I don't like gun control. It's, it says in the six, uh, I'm getting my facts screwed up and looking at the timer. It says in the Second Amendment about guns and how we were allowed to have them. And I think, in fact, instead of less people having guns, we should at least make it to where the teachers have guns and have guards at the theaters or at least some kind of security there. It's real sad. But, you know, I've heard... Rumors of people blaming Obama and conspiracy, and you know, I I wasn't really for Obama, but I'm not gonna say anything against him. He's the president; he can try and do his own thing, and try to see if he can get it out right. And if he doesn't, then I guess he just won't be reelected. But I try not to get too controversial. You know, I think he could have made some better decisions, like with Obamacare. He could have at least made sure that he'd have his funds straightened out before he just tried to get it going. (coughs) Seven minutes. Okay, guys, well... Leave a like and subscribe, and please leave a comment for my next topic if I don't go on for my friends at school thank you for watching and goodbye see you next one